All righty, traders. This is Blake Morrow. You are listening to the Daily Roundup. I hope you guys are having a great day. Uh, great trading session. Um, pretty, pretty. Uh, I would say calm moves for the move down that we're seeing in equities. Really quick, you know. And, and I'll just quickly go over um, kind of what I'm seeing here. So you know we have the S and P that's obviously down, and we're we're uh, we're holding that fifty percent retracement. Um, and like I said, while well, while we're below that forty four hundred, we gotta we gotta continue to focus on the downside with equities. And you know if you look at kind of the the move that we might have we might be developing here. Yeah, I don't even know if that's right. So, uh, <laughs> excuse me really quick. Let me deal with my dogs. One second. All right, the timing of uh, timing of the pool uh, pool guy is uh, so is um, it's uncanny, right? Like yeah, it's crazy. Like, uh, look, I'm here all morning, and I I'm just just doing this for the next ten minutes. Can you not come during this like ten minute span? Doesn't work that way. Um, so anyway, so. Uh, uh, with obviously you can see that you know we have really key support coming in a little bit lower i i made some adjustments to the pattern in play and uh i'll i'll, I'll give you some reasoning here um we're coming out of the wedge which we talked about earlier on the morning edge we're coming out of the wedge and i think that uh this 200 day moving average is going to be really supportive uh which if you look at you know the uh, patterns in play I made an adjustment to 4180. My thinking was, is by the time we get to the 200 day moving average, let's move this over a little bit and kind of zoom in. By the time we get to the 200 day moving average, we're probably gonna be somewhere around there. So I want to be able to take profits on, on a dip. I have to imagine that there's a lot of, a lot of uh, stops below this 4240 level in the S&P. Like a lot of people will start getting short you know, with that 200 day moving average right there, I think that this is going to be like a good place to take profit and probably, I don't know if I'd really want to be long, but, you know, would I want to cover up some shorts down there if I was short the uh, S&P? Sure. And that's why I think that we have to take that type of action on, on, a, a, on a pattern in play. Uh, also, you may have noticed I put in a, a dollar Canadian long. Um, that is because I am... Really thinking that we're going to have a little false breakdown below here. I think there's a lot of support down here in the in the dollar Canadian, um, go like that. You know, a lot of support down here in the dollar Canadian. We, you know, if we can get back above 126, I'd feel a lot better about this. One of the things I think obviously is a big risk right now is um, crude oil. And let's go to crude. Crude's above 78, and we're above this resistance now. This is a big level. I don't. I don't want to. Um, I don't want to ignore how big of a resistance is. And this is again, this is an this is a continuous contract or an ET ETN, you know, um, if you will. But big levels of previous support should act as current resistance up here. We're at the upper end of that range. And yes, you could say, oh, well, Blake, it, you know, according to your range, we're actually breaking out. Again, support and resistance is not an exact science. So I think that we are threatening a breakout here, um, which is, you know, which is true. Uh, you look at like an intraday uh, relative strength, probably a little divergent. We're overbought. So hopefully what I'm thinking is crude's going to pull back below 77. That would be nice because then the Canadian weekend 
Um, you know, and that's why I picked up the dollar Canadian for those of you that do not, or you're not in the chat room. Um, Hey, Dom, he said, ah, joined us in the pain trade. Which one, which pain trade? Sorry. <laughs> oh, dollar Canadian. Yeah. The dollar Canadian. I, I, uh, like I said, I, I, I bought it, um, originally at 90, 93, maybe. And then I added to it. So my average is 89, 125.89. So um, yeah, I, I picked it up uh, wherever I did. Oh, sorry, trades room, I go in there. I picked it up uh, originally, not that. Um, did I put it in here? Where the hell did I put it? Maybe I just put it in the pattern and play. So I get a little confused putting it all in different spots. Um, but anyway, as you, uh, the people in the chat room know that I'm, you know, I'm long dollar CAD. So yes, I did join you in the pain trade. Um, and then I'm also short some US dollar, Norwegian, or um, uh, New Zealand dollar. Because going back to earlier analysis, you guys remember, I think that the uh, the the short here is, selling the US dollar or the, the Kiwi on this previous support, current resistance, 38% retracement. So I am selling some of that in there. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Precious metals are very well bid today. That's something that I'm surprised about. I'm not 100% sure why. I mean, I'm, I'm assuming maybe it's a yield play, but I'm trying to get my head back in the game. So I'm trying to be just very, you know, patient about what I'm doing, not looking, you know, knowing that that we're getting some movement in yields and I got to see how the relationships are are, are holding and, um, and taking place. But, you know, gold and silver are both well bid today. And let's go over to those really quick. There's gold. Um, I still think that this uh, 1780 is going to be big resistance, but silver, you know, popping into some resistance here. I, you know, this is not very clean, so that could be it. I, I think that silver. You just have to keep in mind that this is resistance. This twenty three dollar level. So, um, anything else? Anything else that sticks out like a sore thumb? We talked about crude. <sighs> Equities are weak. That's pretty much it. Yeah. And like I said, I'm trying to just get my my head wrapped around everything right now. Obviously, when you've been out for a few days, it's 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 um it's important to kind of play lightly. So that I am trying to do. So anyway, I hope you guys have a great day. Uh, good luck, and I will see you in the chat rooms or on um face tomorrow morning. Catherine says, so nice to have you back. Thanks. It's nice to be back. And nice to have my mom in town. That's what's really nice. Uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.